Hi, Capricorns. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Today, I'm asking Spirit a specific question. Is new love coming in or is my past love returning? So we're going to ask Spirit that question. And keep in mind, it's a general reading for everyone. So if it doesn't connect to you, um, take with you what connects to you and leave the rest for everyone else and check out your other Capricorn readings as well. So let's say new love spirit or the past coming back. Please share with me. What is it that you want us to hear? What is it that you need us to know? Think about today. I'm listening for you now. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Are we releasing that past? Are we healing from that past? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I have romantic feelings for somebody. I want to explore them. I want to see where we're headed. I have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. I've been manifesting this love. I want romantic feelings. And one more, loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I've been working on myself to attract the love that I want. Let's see what our cards are saying. Spirit, please share with me for my Capricorn. Thank you for everybody returning. Welcome anybody new. Please consider hitting that like button, commenting below. As I work on growing my channel, I can create more content for all of you. That helps. So let's see what the cards are saying. Very soon. I have a chariot. Very soon. I have an eight of Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and I have Strength. So I feel like some of you are still holding on to your past. Doesn't mean you want them back, okay? Doesn't mean that you are wanting them to pick up the phone and come back. You're working on trying to move forward. But there's a part of you that really has a hard time getting over the wounds or the hurt. And Spirit's saying, let's focus on moving forward because... I have a, a pretty good idea that they've got some new romantic feelings coming towards you. So just continue to work on any healing or wounds that you may have Capricorns. I have a 10 of cups. Thank you, spirit. I have a tower. Yeah, we're having a hard time getting over this particular episode in your life. Whatever had happened, the last ending, the person who hurt you, they knocked you down, whatever. I want you to focus on what the next cycle is. This happy home, happy life, ten of cups, feeling secure. A combined family, a family is coming into me. I also feel the sense of starting over, starting new, but starting with somebody that I've never met before, Spirit just said. So it's, it is a starting or turning point for you. It's a new phase in your life. It's going to be a new beginning in your life. So I do not feel, yeah, it's somebody wanting to get to know you. And I feel the more and more that I am moving from that past, the stronger that you become and you start to look at the two cups that are standing instead of the hurt. You start to look at the two cups that are filled with hope and opportunity and love again, instead of the cups that are, are spilling over. So right now I feel like you are moving on. And at the same time, spirit is moving you towards this new journey, this new uh, person. So it could be harder than you think. Maybe you're really having a hard time. Maybe you have a recent breakup or you just somebody just really, you know, really broke your heart years ago. Even it could be many years ago. But I want you to focus on this newness. I want you to focus on all that you have to offer and how far you've come and that you're going to be in a better place no matter where you are. Even if you moved away from a relationship and it was no longer serving you, that you made the right choice for yourself, that you made the right choice to move on and that you're picking yourself up and that you are ready to start new. Absolutely. I've got an ace of wands at the bottom of my deck. So I've got passion coming in. I love the little leaves, of course, on my Ace of Wands because it's just this regrowth, rebirth. And that's how I feel right now in this reading that Spirit's sharing with you that all this healing and 
um, what everything that you went through and the long journey that you went through, it was all for a reason. It was all to bring you to where you are today to show you that they have something better for you. So we're going to, um, you know, keep that in mind for sure, because you deserve something better. And let's see what else they're saying. Spirit, what else do you have for us? Act immediately. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. So this could be coming in very quickly. This could be something that you are not expecting. It could have just crossed your path recently and spirit saying, act on it. Don't, don't walk away from it. Be, you know, be all in. Don't hesitate. Um, so when this love comes to you, it's taking advantage of this love that's being put in front of you. Queen of the ball. Think and live like a queen. The queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. So this feeling of whatever you went through, whatever you walked away from, whatever disappointments, whatever hurt, you're on the other side. And all spirit wants to share with you is I have something really, really good for you. They're going to treat you like the queen of the ball. I like that. And one more. Dangers of a lustful relationship. Lust is a tool, desire is a trap. Wield the first and you can take someone's soul, fall into the second and they can take yours. So we want a relationship that isn't just uh, physical. We want somebody that I have feelings for that's successful, that we can talk to, that there's passion but we also don't want it to be just a physical connection. So a little bit of a warning red flag there for anybody that's approaching you, that's just seducing you, um, you know, what's in it for you energy. Just ask that question because you've come too far and learned too much about yourself to settle for anything less than true love. And we're going to put that out into the universe. Expect some good news, some, something new coming your way. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your comments. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.